welcome to Epic Confections. If you are new here, smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. Yes, James is not here. He's left me. He left me... For video games. For video games. He left me from the kitchen to the living room. This week, I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. With this quarantine going on, I haven't been working. So, I had to improvise. We've been so bored quarantined at home, and I thought, what could I do? To get cake out to everyone. So, today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make cake in a takeaway container. So you can deliver it to all your friends and family. This is such a cute idea. It's super easy, super fun. So I just picked these up at my local bulk store. I have seen them at the dollar store before. They come two for one. Um, which is a great deal. So yeah, eight inch pans, let's do it. So to start, I'm gonna be making a scratch chocolate cake. You can use a box cake to make these, um, which would be super simple and easy. I'm not, I've actually never shown you how to make a chocolate cake recipe, so here's mine. You're welcome. see here I am using my stand mixer you don't have to use this you can either use your little hand mixer or a whisk I know you'll need some muscle for it but hey it's hard times man we're in quarantine so whatever you have at home this will definitely work so to start out for this scratch chocolate cake recipe you're gonna need one and three quarter cups of flour two cups of sugar Three quarter cups of cocoa powder. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. The exact same thing for baking soda. One and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Soda. And lastly for our dry ingredients, a teaspoon of salt. We're just gonna put our mixer on low and mix those all together for a couple minutes. You may notice I have a whole variety of icing colors behind me. You'll see why. While your dry ingredients are mixing up, you can set your oven to 350 degrees. So now that that's all mixed up, now we're gonna be adding our wet ingredients. So to start, we're gonna be adding a half cup of vegetable oil. Just throw it right on in there. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Two large eggs. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Just adding one cup of milk into my mixing bowl here. Lastly, a lot of people don't do this, a lot of people don't know this, but here I have one cup of really, really hot water, and I'm gonna be putting in two teaspoons of instant coffee. Coffee really helps bring out the chocolate flavor in a chocolate cake, so definitely add some coffee next time you make this chocolate cake. Just gonna put this on a low speed to start. Mix everything up and then we'll crank up the speed. So once you have a nice kind of runny, thick runny consistency, I'll let you see it. You see that? I'm gonna grease my two takeout containers. Just a little bit of cooking spray. So just pouring the cake batter into the cake pan. This recipe will make two eight inch round cakes. That's it. Simple pimple. Just gonna pop these into the oven at 350 for about 35, 40 minutes. At the 30 minute mark, definitely make sure to get, to take a quick peek at them, make sure they're okay. Let's do it. So 
So these are nice and cool now. I do have some other ones that I will be decorating and delivering them around town. To all my peeps who can't get cakes from the grocery stores or bakeries, you're welcome. Epic Confections is here to help. So I'm just going to be decorating all these cakes with a whole bunch of different icing colors as you can see behind me. I have red, pink, purple, blue, yellow, green, and orange. I have a whole bunch of different piping bags filled with those colors with a whole bunch of different tips on them. I'm going to decorate these things. Let's do it. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. Here are the cakes in a takeout container. So easy, so simple. Again, if you don't wanna make cakes from scratch, like I did, you can definitely use a box cake. It works perfectly well, just the same. Um, little tip, these containers do come with a lid. Um, obviously I can't put the lid on here or else it'll squish everything. You can, however, just do a thinner cake, that way you will be able to put the lid on and actually give it to somebody. I'm actually putting these in a pie box um, for my deliveries, so yeah, I just have a little pie box here. I bought this from my local bulk store. I'm actually going to use the lid as the base in the box, just like that. Look at that. She's all good to go. She's ready to go. She's ready to be eaten. That, that doesn't sound good. Sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. Stay healthy, stay safe. I will see all y'all next week. Mwah! Oh, also my chocolate cake recipe is gonna be in the description below. <laughs> I forgot to say that.